Perl tutorial part 120 the POS function and the capital G assertion. The POS function will return the position of the last M modifier global match and it will use the default variable if we don't specify a variable. So let's create a string. Monday to Friday. Okay, so let's create a little while loop. Okay, so this will work with the M modifier that is global. So let's search for capital T's in our string. There's two of them. So we can get the position. So create a variable called position. The pos function. And we'll pass it the string and let's print the position. So let's run this. And this prints out the position of our two capital T's. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Position 8 is the capital T, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26 is the position of our second capital T. Okay, so let's print out the positions. of all capital letters. Okay, position 1 for the capital M, position 8, 16, 26 and 35 for the capital F. And we could p print out the position of white space, 7, 15, 25 and 34 and so forth. We could print out all the word boundaries, 0, 6, 7, 14, 15, and so forth. Okay, now on to our capital G assertion, which will start a pattern match at the location where the last global pattern matched stopped.
So we have cars, trucks, boats, trailers, planes, trains and bicycles. So let's search for our capital T's again and obviously we're using the default variable so we can just say look for our capital T's globally get our position which is the default variable by default when we find the match we can anchor that position with the capital G assertion and match the rest of the string with any character zero or more times and let's print our position and our match so our match will be our string where the match was found from that point on so let's run this okay so position 6 was the first match 1 2 3 4 5 6 is the first T and our match now begins from position 7 okay so now let's make our default variable equal to our match and copy this and paste it underneath here and let's do the same thing again from where we left off so starting from where we left off the next T is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, position 13. So we get position 13 and then we start again from position 14. So now let's copy these five lines. and run this again to find our last T in the string and we get position 16 so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 position 16 and the string starts again from the last match okay so that's the POS function and the capital G assertion